Ex- no, I'm talking about the extra ter- extraterrestrial life. Oh, oh, let's talk about that. Yeah, let's talk about exactly. that. Exactly. Oh, you want to talk about that? Yeah, sure. Let's, let's go. go. You want to talk about that? that? Do you think we it's can talk about, that. Talk about yeah. what? Do, do so you think aliens exist? No, I really believe exist. aliens exist. Why? Because Why? honestly, no one can fight with me on this. Aliens Because math exist. exists. Aliens exist. Math no. exists. Yeah, because math exists. Math. Like maths, like mathematics. Oh, 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 oh okay. <laughs> I thought you were talking about. Not go maths. This is actual <laughs> mathematics. <laughs> math. <laughs> not math. <laughs> no, you crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> right? Crazy. Okay. No, because like you know, probability exists. Mm. So like probability-wise, if we are here, like if there is like life in this planet, mm. there's like trillions and trillions of other planets. So probability-wise, there is like. There's a probability. Yeah, that's probability yeah. wise, there's definitely at least one other like species, and that's like that's really not true. There's there's probably like millions and trillions. Yeah, because of species. Uh, you know if the microorganism exists, that's an alien. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And it like they found like microorganisms in like Titan, right? Yeah, and yeah, they're, they're, yes, in they're Titan, they're yeah. yeah. We so are like practically aliens here. True. Yeah, we <laughs> are aliens <laughs> to another species yeah. of aliens. In the yeah. For real. Yeah. For real. Also, yeah. uh, but to that concept exist. of uh, are there aliens or not? Yeah. So it's like uh, you go to the ocean or beach, mm-hmm. you take a cup or a mug, you pull out some water and you say that there is no whale mm. in this. Ba- basically, all it says is that we have not been able to dig a lot more into it. Yeah. So as there are more statistics and probability, the said sign and people, the researchers are still working on it. And by the end of 2030 or 35, we should be having a pretty good answer about it. Then we would be able to analyze a lot more data. I'm sure we have re- research. Yeah. But they're not revealing it to the public. But, wow. but guys, <laughs> like if it's out there, like what if it doesn't want to be found? Okay. Then they're not. Like, why are we really finding also, it? Why? Uh, why aren't we content with what we have? Because humans want to colonize. Oh right. my god! <laughs> not because you want to colonize. There's also like the fact that science is different, and they might be advanced, and they might help us develop. Wha- yeah. wha- wha- what 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 de- development do you want? <laughs> like flying cars for once. Yeah, flying cars. Like there's more to life than flying cars. <laughs> Traveling across the world of space. Find out. It's I think I'm gonna add my perspective there. Yeah, um, let's go. So I'm going to be biased in that. Um, you know, there are people who are interested in knowing whether there are aliens or not. Mm. But the one very clear answer would be the, you know, figure of alien in our mind. That's definitely not true. Number one. What do you mean, what do you mean by that? Mind figure? Like, you know, it, it has three fingers. Oh, yeah, yeah of, course, of course, of course. Oh, no. Of course. Number of course. one. Number two, as you guys mentioned too, organisms are going to be there. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, in any planet or something, whether it is suitable for habitat, we don't know. And even if there is, let's say, point or nano meter or nano percent oh. possibility of <laughs> aliens available, <laughs> I don't think they Brian are gonna. Snorted something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they are gonna care for us because. <laughs> I think we they do. Uh, no, they don't. I don't think so. The reason no, being, I think either no, it's t- either or, right? It, here you cannot go like, you know, there is a possibility on. It's not a bell curve. Uh, this is not a known factor, so it has to be either like fifty-fifty, meaning they are interested or they are not interested. How is because either they are going to be so much advanced mm. than us, or they don't even know that where they belong to, which is on the <laughs> negative shade. For us, since we tend to grasp knowledge, what you see, what you hear, we if you never heard of aliens, do you think you will ever think there is something else? Like by just yourself? Yes. Because they can no. be hiding in the okay. dark matter. Okay. Yes. Listen, listen. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So I think this kind of information will just be floating around, like whether there is a ghost or not. Yeah. Is there going to be a proper evidence to prove it? Okay. Even though some people might have it. How public is it? Like what Brian told us. Yeah. Well, to be honest, yeah, as DL so much like water, life exists because of water, right? And then there's a ice in the water, uh, ice in the moon, yeah, right? Exactly. We yeah. literally found ice on the south side of the moon. Yeah. But basically, even in Mars and everything, they said like the life existed, but due to the hot, like more warmth, it like vanished. Yeah, atmosphere. Atmospheric pressure and everything. But we can like imagine it's our solar system, right? If we go beyond Milky Way galaxy and go like different galaxies, there might be some planets where like really cold. So even with water, their life cannot exist there. Mm. But there might be some planets where there is suitable amount of heat, 
where it is suitable for the life to exist like from earth. water it's, it's yeah. called the yeah. goldilocks zone the goldilocks mm. zone yeah i mean yeah. yeah there will be people like ice walkers too if you say <laughs> but they, <laughs> if, if i just if want to correct g o t there you know it's, it's also possible yeah. and it's also possible that there are people who are super developed and are traveling across galaxy as we speak right now <laughs> no and you know like um there's this thing where like like you said that they won't be curious of us i think like anyone with like sixth sense like cuz that kind of brings up this curiosity cuz if we like find a microorganism in the sea we are like we have so much curiosity to go mm. and like research on it and stuff like that yeah. and so in that way i feel like every like organism any kind of aliens around the world like they're trying to like like develop and they're trying to find out and like study other yeah. species do you think yeah. they yeah go on to that it really matters like what is the definition of alien mm-hmm. and for example a microorganism if you call them alien they would not have a developed brain to think likewise like what like to be curious about like mm. we are humans mm, we true, are curious we have brain we it got developed and <coughs> so it really depends on that factor <coughs> also as rishi mentioned about the figure that we have in our brain about what alien looks like like this green kiki no. creature no it's not going to be like that with, with, with <laughs> like <laughs> <a> really <laughs> large <laughs> eyes and stuff <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so it's like scientifically we we actually came to that uh, image of alien scientifically like not scientifically but i would say computing yeah like how computing. how we got there like how so did we so for example if It, it's an assumption that okay that life alien that we are imagining it is an inte- intelligent life so if that's an intelligent life that means that they have been working a lot on screens for example okay we see humans ahead like few centuries up ahead if we see humans what we would look like mm-hmm. so we would be having like big eyes mm-hmm. because we would be just being on screen and things like that and for example our fingers this finger do not have any purpose like not a lot of purpose so over time with evolution we would not have the fingers and depending on that how we can evolve so that's how if we ha- we see all those parameters we develop that figure of an alien how it might look like mm. but the assumption is that it's an uh, artificial life that is intelligent and more scientifically advanced than us so mm-hmm. it really depends on various parameters mm-hmm. and things like that do you and think um, what's the definition <coughs> do you think um aliens can be invisible and just walk around here That's possible. Can be search, you know, can be studying us while we're not aware of that, you know. I would not say that though. No. I mean, we don't know. <laughs> Who <laughs> knows? You don't know. Don't know. It's possible they yeah. use like even Marvel they use the mirror technology. Would you would you say <laughs> angels like if you're religious, <laughs> would you say angels are aliens? Yes. No, that's more of a mythical uh what do you call um uh, spiritual being, right? right. Yeah. What, what if aliens are spiritual? Mm-hmm. No, my thing is I'm agnostic, so I don't <laughs> believe in religion. Yeah, so I'm like someone who's like show me the proof and I'll believe in mm-hmm. like God. Yeah, yeah. And for now I don't see a proof. I see like a like a I think we talked about this during yeah. camp, like we briefly touched on it. I see like a societal like construct, like religion is just like so that society can like progress mm. into something better and I don't see it exactly as like Uh, maybe there's a higher being who like you know was like or not even higher being a alien that was like okay this worked for my society and mm-hmm. like maybe you guys can like try it or something mm-hmm. like that but like yeah. i feel like that's the extent that i think of religion is yeah. i don't think it's like we have to pray to another being yeah. when they're also mm-hmm. another like being so i feel like for me i'm like very religious yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. i really we, we literally talked about this in camp yeah, where yeah. was we're talking about how she believes in physics mm. and i was telling her like everything we do like the bible said we're made in god's own image and mm. everything we do is reflection that mm. there's a maker because right. we are l- literally makers we create yeah. we don't like big bang theory everything we well we, we also destroy too scratch yeah. yeah we destroy Energy. with our hands Oppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so like i feel like everything the sun rising the sun setting mm. is a definition of a maker there's mm. somebody there's something like a greater power yeah. out there bigger than us it's like a, you know minecraft you know yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah. that and like the fact <laughs> that there's yeah. more proof of jesus than yeah. aliens out there mm. like historic wise mm-hmm. is no, enough i i definitely religion? believe that yeah. a guy called jesus existed 
I think that he was a model person who wanted like because honestly like I believe like I said the societal construct thing where I yeah. think that the Bible and like the Quran and like all these books like they can be used for like governance because mm. they're not tr- they, I don't think they mean harm they want like society to progress they want people to be good and not sin right yeah. and I yeah. think that's why like religion is definitely a very important thing mm. but I don't think I don't see a role for God because physics mm. exists because there is a reason for the Big Bang there's a reason why planets are created mm. there's a reason why all these like physics science happens and yeah how did Big Bang came no, 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 okay. <laughs> so the Big Bang there's like a lot of theories yeah. yeah I think the one that I know is the one where there's like it all like collided into like one thing yeah, and one then, thing <coughs> and then it's it exploded right? and it's but what was before Big Bang what exactly. was before the yeah. no no I can I can like explain that too because mm-hmm. uh, if you think about that like uh, like they say that energy is like not destroyed or like created mm-hmm. right yeah. so I f- in <coughs> my opinion they say that the universe is constantly going through an expansion and contraction mm. like kind of cycle mm. so yeah. before the Big Bang there was obviously a contraction and expansion so the Big Bang happened it's just like a mo- it's just like a cycle r- yeah it's like a cycle oh. it's a reaction that just keeps happening so you were saying in the far future will be cramped in yeah. like this One. fall. Like right now, I think oh my expanding. gosh. And I right feel like expanding. everything you're talking about right now causes you to believe that that happened. Mm. It's based on theories and yeah, also theories. like and you yeah, yeah. That expansion theories. and contraction. I would say it's one of the possible way the u- uh, universe will evolve. We are not mm. sure, yeah, but there's it is many one of theories. those ways. If you look at how can evo- uh, universe evolve, and even with the Big Bang theory, one of the other thing is like matter and antimatter, mm. and mm-hmm. it it's like a stable thing, but it got really unstable because of that one proton, I would say, yeah. and then it created the Big Bang flash. Mm. Boom. Yeah, it's like yeah. I think I explained this analogy yeah. where mm-hmm. it was like during the camp where in the beginning of time we all thought like if you look at mythology throughout the years, like they would first always like uh, consider the sun as a god mm. because at that time they didn't know what the sun was. But then right. as science evolved, we knew that sun is like a it's just a gas. It's like a star, right? Yeah, it's just a star. It's yeah. a gas. Like yeah. so we stopped praying to it and we saw it in more of like a scientific way. Yeah. Again, yeah. like I think we talked about this in one of my, s- my engineering classes, where uh, we were talking about how the eclipse was like thought to be like a end of the war, yeah, yeah. End punishment of the world, yeah. from God. So people like sacrifice things and stuff like that. But as they found out that it was like scientific and it's like these planets just like the natural know, thing, exactly, it's a natural yeah. thing. They yeah. stopped like praying to that, stopped sacrificing stuff. Right. Yeah. So I think that's like how religion is. Like I think it's just like what people believe, and mm. once science kind of develops to a point where religion is like kind of obsolete mm-hmm. i think that's like yeah where it'll go what were you going to say yeah i mean everything you're saying like mm-hmm. it was science and people were learning i'll call it spreading the gospel mm-hmm. like people were knowing more and more about jesus and how and god and how he's the creator and how mm-hmm. he made these things for like sunlight mm-hmm. for day and yeah. mm-hmm. moon for night and like i definitely understand where you're coming from mm-hmm. you know and I believe I I respect your beliefs, mm-hmm. but religion is not governance or anything. Mm-hmm. 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 Religion is a relationship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's cool. It's yeah. a it's an interesting things to talk about about the you know. No, for real, and we can talk <coughs> about it all the time. We're oh yeah, about yeah. Because yeah. because <laughs> religion has been part <laughs> yeah. of our human history for a long time. It has. Yeah. 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 yeah.